And, and every month we take time to recognize high school students who are excelling in the STEM fields. Our future leaders winner gets a thousand dollars and a profile on CBS 4 News. So Ashton, who is this month's winner? Yeah, that's right, Michelle. Uh, the May winner just graduated from Rock Canyon High School and is looking forward to having a big impact on the nation. I'm glad that, you know, it's still sticking around. Thomas Ankner admires the mural he created two years ago. I wanted to find a way to incorporate uh, athletics into my Eagle Scout project. His project transformed a barren wall at East High School into a tribute to all athletes. I uh, just kind of took inspiration from uh, designs I found online. The project required him to design the art, including an East Angels logo in the center, coordinate volunteers to help him paint, and raise about $14,000. It's amazing to me that I can have something that's uh, going to be here and standing, make an impact on the community. At East and Rock Canyon High Schools, Thomas lettered all four years as a wide receiver on the football team. What really, you know, kept me was the camaraderie and the uh, the tactical side of football. It was math that he really excelled at. It's beautiful how something so simple can actually be, you know, complex deep down. He's going to continue his education at Texas A&M University. I want to pursue electrical engineering and uh, maybe work for a power company in the future and uh, work on developing uh, new ways to increase the resilience of the power grid. Thomas managed his Eagle Scout project, played four years of football, and excelled in math and science, all with a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. Now he has a message for other kids on the spectrum. You know, don't let it define you, that uh, there's still, you know, other aspects of you that, you know, make you who you are. Thomas continues to make an impact on his community. Ashton Altieri covering Colorado first. And you can see all of our future leaders profiles on CBSDenver.com.